All great literature is one of two stories. A man goes on a journey, or a stranger comes to town. Leo Tolstoy. It was the biggest natural disaster in over a century. Over 200,000 people died in a matter of minutes. Many of these people have lost all or most of their families. I'm responsible for hiring and managing over 60 Indonesians to coordinate a relief effort. How did I end up here? What made me think that I could make a difference? I was living in one of the most diverse and exciting cities in the world. Living to work, working to live, it seems like all I did was work. But what did that really mean if I wasn't fulfilled? Something was nagging at me. I wanted something more than just a typical um, vacation or a trip or even volunteer experience. I wanted to be a part of a bigger story than my own. I can tell you stories about Morocco. The spirituality of this place, it wasn't quite what we had been hearing back at home about the Middle East lately. Welcome. The beauty of the landscape was exceeded only by the beauty of the people you encountered. Welcome to my city. The delicious local food you enjoy. The exquisite places that you see and the amazing people you meet, and lifelong friends that you make. Okay. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you doing, Neha? Good. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you about uh, CCS for a couple of minutes. There are so many reasons why I chose this program, but it was really important for me to give back especially to go to India to experience that culture since I was raised here. And after that trip, I sincerely appreciate everything that I have. They're so happy with what they have, and it gives you a new perspective in life because it really is about just loving the people that are around you and try to trying to better your life. I could tell you a story about India. Delhi was teeming with life. You name it, the streets of Delhi had it. And Dharamsala, unbelievable. So CCS sets up this family visit where you have like an actual house visit. You go to the home of a family. We literally got to know the family over a, a pot of tea. And we got to get a feel for what life was like for them. The parents, the grandparents, the kids all lived in this small house. Everyone helped prepare the meal. And everyone cleared off their plate. So after we ate, they took us outside and proudly showed us their cow which is a pretty big deal to, to, to have in this village. We were driving back to the CCS home where we were staying, and we were driving through some of the most impoverished areas, and we saw the little tiny shacks that some of the people were living in. They got no running water, no electricity, and I couldn't help but think how much more difficult their life was than the family we just actually got to visit with. When we're stopped, this woman comes out of one of these little homes and she starts cleaning her dishes in the street. I'm looking at this woman and I'm really feeling sorry for her. She looks at me and she smiles and she says, Namaste. That made my day. If you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. The Dalai Lama. Back home, everything was basically the same, except me. I didn't want to live to work or work to live anymore. I wanted to live to live, to exist, as Papa Neruda once said, as a resident on Earth. My involvement with CCS was one of the most fulfilling experiences I've ever had. Whether doing our bit to help the locals with their daily grind, or using my free time to haggle at the local market, even when I was teaching them English or correcting their misconceptions about life in the States, I was the one doing most of the learning. Then came the Asian tsunami. I'll never forget the suffering and devastation up close. Suddenly, it hit me. My CCS experiences had brought me into this moment in history. Instead of sitting at a desk, I was in some small way doing something to get back. It wasn't all about my career anymore. It was about appreciating what I had and being a resident on Earth. So what makes me contented? What gives me perspective? What inspires me? Where do my passions lie? 
I can tell you some stories. But to really get it, you've got to live it. <laughs>